couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video we're gonna discuss a little bit of Spanish guitar music and uh, as you can see I'm holding an acoustic guitar, not a classical guitar, so obviously this is not a traditional flamenco lesson. I'm just gonna discuss a few key aspects of Spanish guitar playing that you can take and add to your own playing to add some Spanish guitar flavor to it and also add some authenticity. Now the two key aspects I'm gonna discuss have to do with a specific scale uh, and the way you treat it. So um, we're gonna play it in the key of A minor. So the chord progression we're gonna use, you all know it, it's the Spanish guitar chord progression. It's A minor, G, F, and E. Yeah, you all know this. A minor, G, F, E. You've probably heard it a million times. Now you can play it in any key, for example in B minor, like I did in a previous lesson about uh, traditional uh, chord noodling in flamenco. Um, it's B minor, A, G, and F sharp. Then you can play it in any key. So we're gonna discuss it in A minor because it's easier to learn on the guitar and this is about training your ear to hear the scale in a Spanish guitar sort of way. So. We'll keep it simple on the guitar. So A minor, G, F, and E. Now, um, we're gonna discuss the A minor scale and add a note to it, or change a note to it, depending how you look at it. Um, you can actually do both. I'm gonna show you that too. So let's learn the A minor scale in case you don't know it. Five, three, one, zero on the E string. Yeah, you can hear the chord progression right there. And then on the second string, three, one, zero. 2-0 on the third, 3-2-0 on the fourth, then on the fifth the same thing, 3-2-0, and on the sixth, 3-1-0. Okay, now if you play that, uh, and keep this chord progression uh, in mind, then immediately you can hear the connection between the A minor scale and this chord progression. And the reason for that is that you hear this. And this is a part of the E Phrygian scale. Okay, and this is the most important thing of all, even before we touch the different note. This is treated as E Phrygian. And it really shouldn't matter to you what E Phrygian is. It's just uh, the E scale uh, with F, the natural F instead of F sharp. E minor is this. Okay, so you just take the F sharp, put it down to F and it's, you get the E Phrygian scale. And that's the key to everything. You play A minor, but you treat this, as E Phrygian in your ear. And that's the key to everything, okay? I repeated myself about 15 times by now, but it's important, it's that important. And I'm gonna show you how to apply it and create your own solos and connecting licks between the chords. So uh, the other important thing about this is that, um, I think she wants to go, go, go. Um, yeah, it's fine, go. Um, the next important thing is to use the A harmonic minor scale. And for A harmonic minor, instead of G, you play G sharp. And then you get this. And now you can hear the Spanish flavor. And you have five, four, one, zero, instead of five, three, one, zero. Now you can interchange them. You can use three for one lick and four for a different lick, but let's save this for later. Okay, now we're talking about the basics, the structure of this. And if you have this G sharp, you also have this G sharp, one on the third string instead of zero. So instead of two zero on the third string, you have two one instead of two zero. And this changes the E minor chord to E major. And we complete a circle here because the chord progression is A minor, G, F, 
E, not a minor G, F, E minor, which would happen if this was the natural A minor key. E minor, this is natural. But if we add G sharp, we get E major. And this creates the whole Spanish flavor. Now, how do you use that to create interesting solos and Spanish sounding uh, licks? It's very, very simple. Just uh, go over the scale once, the um, harmonic minor. So, 5, 4, 1, 0, okay? And then 3, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, and 3, 1, 0. And uh, now you get the Spanish sound, so... Now, um, the thing here is that this chord progression is so strong that it really takes, um, you know, it really takes simple licks to connect them. For example, you just go over the scale, for example. just the scale notes. I just choose one string and play the scale notes. And uh, try it yourself. It's really, really simple. Just choose one string and connect uh, the chords by using a very simple lick. You can just play the string. starting to sound good. You can also complicate it and create your own mind-blowing licks, but let's keep it simple. So use hammer-ons and pull-offs, for example. Okay, again, nothing fancy, just a hammer-on and a pull-off. Now, um, you can interchange the 3 and 4 on the E string. You can use one lick with a natural G and the next lick with the harmonic minor, with G sharp, and then you create a sophisticated line. Okay, harmonic minor, 4 on the E string. Now let's try it with 3. Still natural. And now harmonic again. Now, there is a reason I did it in that order, and that has to do with the arpeggio secret that I wanted to tell you about. Um, look at the chord progression. Okay? E major is the dominant chord here. Now, there are a lot of Spanish guitar compositions, classical Spanish guitar compositions, that uh, revolve mainly around F and E, because those are the strong chords, because, again, because of this. Because of the Phrygian scale, the E Phrygian scale. Remember I told you we're playing A minor, the A harmonic minor, but we're treating it as the E Phrygian scale when we reach F and E. So, uh, there are a lot of classical Spanish composition that revolve around F and E. And you just uh, improvise around both of these chords. Okay, you must have heard stuff like that a thousand times before. Um, so F and E are very, very important here. And here's the real secret. You can create a scale out of these two chords and uh, use that scale to create your own licks. And this is very, very simple. You just take F and E, take the chord notes and create a scale out of them, like this. And um, look at this. Just look at the frets. One zero, one zero, two one, three two, three two, one zero. Okay, it's all inside the A minor scale, the A harmonic minor scale that is, but it sounds Phrygian because we're discussing F and E. Okay, now this 
in and of itself doesn't really work, but if you use it uh, to create licks, it works just fine. Okay, for example. Okay, you see, all of these are revolving around this, the chord notes of F and E. And you can also do it all around the neck. For example, you have F and E over here. Okay, E on uh, the bar on 4, C shape, and F, the bar on 5, C shape. So you get this. Okay, and it's 5-4, um, 6-5, five, 5-4, four, five, five, four, 7 6 8 7 and also here okay the bar on uh, 7 and 8 a shaped so you get this right okay. uh, 7 and 8 okay 10 and 9 10 and 9 10 and 9 7 and 8 and you can use them Okay, now this sounds a little bit Arabic, and if you add um, the E minor harmonic scale here, this is getting a bit more complicated, but uh, just try it out for a second. You get uh, this. You get 11-12 uh, on the E string, and then you get a sort of a, an Egyptian scale. Okay, because you get the E flat as well, so every time you have E, you can have E flat as well, but Let's uh, return to Spanish guitar playing. Um, but again, we open up a can of worms here, so let's add it. If you want to add uh, an Arabic sort of uh, sound here, play four on the second string as well. This is E flat and 11 on the E string and also uh, eight on the third string and uh, also six on the fifth string. Okay, but we're not gonna get too much into this. I wanna return to the Spanish, uh, the Spanish scale, um, but you can do interesting stuff like. And then you get a really complex sounding line by just going over the scale notes. Let's go back. So um, the third and last important aspect of playing um, Spanish flavored licks is to connect the um, to connect the chords using bassline licks, and you can use the same bassline lick for all the chords. Just find a lick that you like and add it between the chords, and you'll see that it works. <laughs> Same lick. I'm not going to tell you what I played. Find your own licks. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. Okay, I'm just fooling around here. It's not Spanish music at all. I'm just showing you that anything works as long as you just have fun and connect the chords using anything on the same scale in the bass notes. Okay, you can do anything you want. Okay, even add an extra note if you need to, add the chromatic note, one on the A string. Okay, it's not Spanish per se, but Spanish guitar players do add chromatic notes. Okay, okay it's more um, modern Spanish playing, kind of like the surf Spanish music they did with uh, electric guitars back in the 60s. Now the last tip I want to tell you before we go is that you can uh, use the higher forms of the, the chords. You can have okay, A minor, G, F and E over here. D minor shape for A on 8. And then D shaped for G, F and E on 7, 5 and 4. Okay, so you can do Okay, even this works, just arpeggiating the chords. And also, if you play with uh, sixth harmonies or third harmonies, don't forget the harmonic minor note. So instead of this, okay, which uh, leads you from A minor to G, 
you can do this. Okay, using uh, five and five, and instead of three and four, you have four and four because G sharp is over here, so. Okay, you can use this. So you can build your own uh, sixth harmony line. Okay, and this is of course inside this chord, the E shape, uh, the D shape E on four. Okay, and you can also vary between the high chord harmonies to the sixth harmonies. Okay, the sky's the limit, just try it out. Okay, and um, remember, it's just four chords. And anything you try on the scale to connect those chords will work. Trust me, anything. Keep it simple, keep it groovy, and just remember that E is your strong note, and you'll do just fine. So I'm going to let you go practice this now. And remember, practice it one concept at a time. Take it slowly. Just try it out one lick at a time, one chord at a time, and you will do fine. Remember to have fun with this. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons for free on the channel. Everything here is for free. And all I ask in return is for you to share the lessons and let people know. Spread the word about Lick and Riff. It's for free for everyone's enjoyment and education. So thank you very much for watching. Go have fun with this and um, let me know how it goes. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.